Hello everybody, welcome to the channel Property Wealth Decoded. I'm Harvey. Now, cooling measures, will the dust settle in 2022 for the residential property market? The biggest news has to be the 16th December cooling measures. In a nutshell, the measures included on an individual consumer front that the tightening of the TDSR, the total debt serviceability ratio of residential loans has dropped from 60% to 55%. On a HDB front, the loan to value for HDB loans has dropped from 90% to 85%. Additional buyer stamp duties for Singaporeans have increased for second and third property to 17 and 25% from a previous 12 to 15, whilst for permanent residents, the PRs have increased from 25 and 30% respectively from previous 15. Now, what does that mean to you? Well, if you are a first property home buyer or investor, be it a Singaporean or permanent resident, it's all good. There is no impact to your journey. But for the multiple property purchasers or investors, there is a lot more to consider. Firstly, the amount of stamp duties you are paying are unlikely to be recoverable in a short time. Assume property grows at a conservative 3% a year, that would mean more than 5 years just to claw back your additional stamp duties. Now, your plan for property purchases beyond your first needs to be deliberate. To build a portfolio, you need to plan ahead to ensure that your TDSR and the person who is holding the property does matter. This can be considered as an afterthought, but the price to pay would be that there would be disbursement calls involved. If it's meant to be for legacy planning, example, buying for your loved ones, there are other ways to do so, but it's going to be cash intensive. Buying under a trust structure is possible, but it requires full cash. Well, to be honest, there is a lot more homework and planning to do before you walk into any second property positions moving forward. It is important to plan ahead. Now, on the developer front, Developers now face significantly higher development risk given the increase in additional buyer stamp duties for entities from 30%, of which 25% is remissible and 5% non-remissible, up to 40% in a structure of 35% remissible and 5% non-remissible. The considerations moving forward for the developers given the potential construction risk as well as shift in sentiments of consumers would mean the developers would be more cautious in their land price bids. That, however, does not mean no land banking from developers as their unsold inventory is running low. It just means that there will be more to consider in their bids the timeline to sell the inventory because it's full risk on given the non-remissible portion of stamp duties they pay is 10% more than before. Now, in summary, once the dust has settled, the cooling measures are opportune to take the air a little out from the market as the chase from buyers intensified the expectations of sellers became a little rich and the developers had to confront a catch-22 situation of dwindling stocks versus construction risks and diminishing margins. This Christmas and New Year period allows for everyone to take a breather. It is a period for the market to relax, take it all in, recalibrate our strategies and goals and as we all probably know, the market will repeat itself as buyers and sellers will eventually find a happy medium. See you in the next episode. Thank you.